Hello, welcome back to the channel. Today we are doing another thrift with me, a very special one because we are here in Bozeman, Montana. I'm putting my boots on and we are going to two vintage shops today. One is Bozeman Vintage and the other is a Rare Bird Vintage. Let's see what we find. Welcome to Bozeman Vintage, you guys. This is the ultimate Western wear, work wear store. They have all of the best brands, Pendleton, Woolridge, Levi's, you name it, they've got it. This store has the most insane selection of denim I have ever seen at the best prices. I really don't need any denim right now in my wardrobe, but because it was so good, I had to take a look. I did come across this beautiful stone washed vintage pair. I love a pair of denim that's very worn in. It has those worn in, loved touches, the holes, the stains, the whole thing. They had so many fun accessories. I'm obsessed with trucker hats. They had like hundreds in the shop. They had fantastic cowboy hats, purses from all different eras, and of course, many, many pairs of cowboy boots, even some crazy metallic snakeskin boots. Beyond denim, this shop has a crazy amount of screen tees. They were so eclectic and cool. I loved this one, cowboy butts drive me nuts. The thing is, I don't really wear screen tees anymore and what I'm looking for is a basic white tee, ones that are quite worn in and sheer. So let's see what I can find. I found some really cool vintage sports jerseys, which I was very, very attracted to. And today in store, they launched these beautiful 90s Wrangler button downs. And then my arms got a little tired, so I threw my clothes down on the chair right here and kept shopping. And I made my way back into the outerwear. I have never seen in any vintage store a outerwear collection this robust and beautiful. If you're in Montana, it gets cold here in Bozeman and there was just so many crazy chunky wool sweaters with really fun designs and prints. I really liked this blue sweater specifically. But the thing is with a lot of vintage sweaters, they're made from synthetic materials and I just don't vibe with those when it comes to sweaters. Every single jacket was so beautiful and so well made. I loved looking through all of the brands. Some of this vintage was from the very early 1900s. It, this vintage Pendleton wool coat is everything. I'm obsessed with this pattern. I believe it's the Glacier National Park striped pattern. And then I came across this Corona jacket and this is the exact thing I thrifted for like all of my early 20s. I wore a lot of vintage beer like Budweiser t-shirts and things like that. And the other section I was most blown away by were these vests. They all have this beautiful leather detailing. I think I would have purchased one if it wasn't summer right now. Making my way over to the other tops and sweaters, I'm really looking for something in my color palette that packs a punch, a bright spring summer color. And the dresses in store were very, very gorgeous. Certainly some gems in there, but most vintage dresses, at least for me, I find are more occasion wear and I don't have any upcoming occasions that I need all of this floral and lace and then some fun Americana hot pants. Okay, let's, let's try on. Item one is this pair of stonewashed vintage Levi's jeans. Love the coloring, love the wear, the fit, not so much. And they're just a little poochy pouchy in the front, so it's gonna be a no for those. Next try on item is this beautiful bright blue vintage jersey. I love the color, I love the style, but I don't quite love the fit. It's a little tight across the seams in my shoulders, but I love how it looks in the mirror. I just don't know how practical it is for my real life, so TBD on that. Item three is this super sheer holy t-shirt. Is it too holy? Is it too distressed? Maybe, or maybe it's perfect. I, <laughs> I love how it looks. I love the color. This is really what I was looking for when I came in, so I'm thinking I may, may be getting it. Last up is a little bit of a surprise. I almost did not try this on because I haven't loved denim jackets in the past. I haven't reached for them, but as soon as I put this on, it just felt different. I loved everything about it. The fit, the wash, it just looks so cool. Do you think it looks cool? <laughs> I think it looks cool. This for me is an A+. All right, time to check out. Goodbye, sir. Now we are headed over to Rare Bird Vintage. It is a five minute drive. It's right off the main street downtown. It's only open for an hour and a half more, so let's get over there. This is one of those shops that when you enter, it completely transports you into a different little magical world. There was so many accessories, bags, scarves, jewelry, also a great selection of denim. 
and some really, really cool overalls that I've never seen before. Maybe you guys know this brand. I especially loved this Sherpa lined denim jacket with the corduroy collar. You can buy Sherpa jackets new, Sherpa denim jackets, but they're just not the same as a vintage jacket. This one is so, so special. And then the sweaters here, the tops here were magnificent. It was pretty much all women's clothing in this store and there was just such such cool things from all different eras. I found this Henley here and this one was wool so it had a bit of itch to it. I liked the color and the style but I figured I maybe wouldn't, wouldn't really reach for it. And I'm continuing my hunt for basic tees and I found this pretty black kind of charcoal tee that I think may fit well. Ooh, the sweater. Is this too crazy and bright? For some reason, this lemon color sweater is kind of calling my name. So I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna try that on too. So many great fashion jackets. Gotta love this 70s collar for Co. And then a crochet moment, this poncho. I love a crochet big poncho sweater for summer over a bikini next to the pool. It is a very easy, chic look. The dresses were beautiful. So many different styles and fabrics. I was looking for a slip dress specifically for myself. I really want a floor length slip dress in black, but I did not find one in this little selection. We've got a fun pastel yellow knit two-piece set, St. John. It is the Chanel of the everyman. Popping back over to tops and sweaters, looking for those bright colors. And I came across this really unique blue-green knit sweater sweatshirt hybrid. Jumping outside real quick to check out the denim shorts. I'm really not looking for a pair, but it never, never hurts to look, you know? Taking one last gander across the store before I head in to try on. I really love the dressing room in this store. She had these really cool vintage carpet tapestries. It's always extra fun playing dress up in a beautiful location. The first thing I'm trying on is this sweater sweatshirt combo in that bright blue green color. And I actually love the fit. I was afraid it would be too small on me, but I think the fit is actually perfect. And then the next thing I tried on was that bright yellow cardigan. Yes, it is a synthetic fabric, but I think I love the sheen and the color so much that it might be a yes for me. Next, I tried on that buttercup yellow two-piece set. I actually loved how this looked on me. I felt really confident in it, but I just don't think it's practical for my life. I don't see myself reaching for a top like this. And then next, I tried on this coral sweater. I feel like it's looking really red on camera. I like the fit well enough, but it was very, very itchy, so yeah. And then last, I tried on that t-shirt. And you guys, I am obsessed with the fit. This is my ideal t-shirt fit. I want either a slouchy slouchy or I want kind of a boxy cute fit. So there you go. Oh my goodness, you guys, Rare Bird was so good. Probably just as good as Bozeman Vintage. This was probably the most successful thrifting day, vintage shopping, not really true thrifting day of my life. I was so successful. I got so many things on my list that I am obsessed with and I'm so excited to try everything on for you guys. Let's head home. Hello, good morning to part two of the video. It is time for the thrift haul. I'm going to be trying on each piece that I purchased. Also giving you guys the scoop, how much I paid for it, which era or decade it's from. So we're going to start with the piece that I am wearing. Maybe you recognize it from the video. It is this stunning 1960s cardigan. It has this gorgeous, gorgeous sheen. It's this bright kind of citrus lemon yellow, canary yellow. It has these super nice pearl buttons. It fits super good. It has these really long sleeves. I'm super tall, so sleeves are always <laughs> always an issue for me. So it's nice that these are super lengthy and beautiful. The sweater is giving me Gwyneth Paltrow energy. I feel like with a good tan, a red lip, which I have a little tan. I have a red-ish lip. This is, <laughs> this is the look. I feel like this would look so nice with some white pants, a little skirt. It's just so cool. And just even looking at myself in the viewfinder, I look so just happy and beautiful in this color. So very excited about it. And the price of this sweater, $56 which I know is quite pricey, but for a unique piece like this, I'm happy to spend the money. I really like supporting vintage shops when I can. I want these physical stores to stay around. So this is piece number one. And for my next piece is this a beautiful, crazy cool aquamarine. Would you say that's the color? Sweater sweatshirt. This thing is so much fun. It's LL Sport. I can't even read that. I thought it was LA Sport, but it is It is not. It's 100% cotton. That is the best thing about this. It's this really beautiful kind of checker knit and then layered in with this blocking of kind of just sweatshirt material and the back is this sweatshirt. I just seriously think this is so cool. I used to wear a lot of 
of 80s vintage in college because I've shied away from it because it feels a little kooky, but I feel like I've honed my personal style in a way that I can bring some kooky stuff back in and make it more kind of timeless. And this was $32. And I feel like this is a really good price for what this is. It has a really nice fit. I like the fit on me. It's oversized, but still has a cute enough crop. 80s sweater, sweatshirt, 32 bucks. It was a steal in my opinion. Next piece, also from Rare Bird Vintage, is this plain black tee. I've been looking for a t-shirt just like this for quite some time. Worn in enough that it looks like a charcoal color. I want the fit to be right, not too big, but I do want boxy but still cute. And this is exactly that. I do think I overpaid for this. The brand is Duke Athletics. 80s cotton blank USA tee, 28 bucks. Ugh, I don't like paying $28 for a vintage t-shirt. It's not super rare. It's not super sheer or like worn in in that way but I don't get out that much shopping on my own. So when I do find something, I just bite the bullet and go for it. I would way rather buy a basic tee from a vintage shop than from like Target or Gap, even though I do shop at those places from time to time. I always prefer secondhand and I just love the fit of this tee. I feel like it has a bit of a punk rock sort of alternative look. It makes me look a little bit edgy <laughs> compared to the yellow sweater. It's just a cool tee. It's an effortless cool that can complete pretty much any outfit. So that's that's the tee. Next we have this distressed white t-shirt. It is the perfect shade, ivory with a hint of yellow. It's worn in, it's a little bit holy, has some distressing here, a few holes here. There is a hole in the armpit that I did not see you guys, and then I washed it and the hole got a little bigger in the pit. So I may need to stitch that up, but otherwise we good. And the good thing about that is that I only paid $12 for this plain white tee, 1970s it says. And you know what, that vintage owner at Bozeman Vintage is super knowledgeable super cool. $12 for this great tee. I'm stoked about it. It matches pretty much everything I can wear. It makes any outfit look a lot cooler. So that is my t-shirt. Let's show you the last piece. It is the best piece. Last up, we have this super sick jean jacket. And it's really funny to me because last week I was telling my husband how much I'm just not into jean jackets, how I feel like they look super <laughs> dorky and nerdy on me, on most people. I just think like floral dress and gladiator sandals, but this is so not that. This is the coolest jean jacket. It's a men's jacket. I think it's like a double XL. It's perfectly worn in. It's from the 90s. It's actually quite a bit stained with a few marks. It has a hint of brown throughout just general dirt <laughs> but I love that look to it I just think that's the nicest coloring on a denim jacket and I'm just absolutely enthralled with this I feel like a million bucks when I wear it this jacket was only $65 if you wanted a vintage Levi's jacket this well-loved and worn in in California you would be paying a lot more like I think between 150 and 200. Don't quote me on that. I'm super stoked on it. I think it's so great for summer all year long. I have plenty of space to layer underneath sweaters, a hoodie during winter. And then for summer, I love just throwing this over a bikini or a tank top by the lake, by the river. It's just the best. So those are all of my thrift finds. I hope you guys had fun going through the thrift stores with me, shopping with me. All the shopkeepers, the store employees were super knowledgeable and kind. I had the greatest experience. So I will link their Instagram account, their websites in the description below in case you want to shop them as well. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video. And if you watch till the end and you're new, subscribe if you're fun. If you like the content, I'd love to have you here in the family. I'll catch you guys in my next video. I love you so, so much. Happy, very fun day. Bye. I think my voice cracked. Bye. <laughs> Peace.